Hello, I'm Dr. Yatros and I'm on a mission to help doctors free themselves from the tyranny of their EMR. With Excel or any other spreadsheet, I've been completely independent from all EMRs, so I don't need to change my workflow in different settings. Today I'm going to show you how to create a review of systems section for your note. Documenting a review of systems is very important, both for patient care as well as for billing and reimbursement, so let's have a crack at it now. First of all, if you haven't watched my previous video called Soap Note Template Using Excel, uh, you can take a look at it to see how we got here. You can also download this spreadsheet in the show notes as well as uh, just the formula for this cell if you'd like. The first thing I'm going to do, because uh, I'm going to be using this spreadsheet to copy and paste into an EMR, it's kind of irrelevant to have date in the formula here because I'm not going to be copying and pasting that into the note. The EMR will already have a date for each visit. So I'm going to eliminate the reference to this uh, date row, but I'm going to keep the row here because when I use the spreadsheet, I want to know what was going on in each visit. So coming here, if everything before the quote progress note, I'm going to eliminate except for the equal sign, of course. So that's it. So that way it's, it's just a cleaner note. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And now we're going to um, start building a, a review of system section here. And I like putting it between medications and objective, just because that, that's a good flow. So I'm going to insert 14 rows. First, we right click here in the row we want to insert and click on insert. And then to um, insert uh, all the rows we need, just keep pressing Control Y. And to save time, I have all of the components of my review of systems over here. So I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste them over here. The reason why I have ROS here as a header for that section is because instead of typing the formula for this over here on top, I'm going to type the formula here on B5 and up on top I'm just going to make a reference to that cell. The principle is the same as what we did here. We're going to create, we're going to type equal sign and then make references to, to uh, each pair of cells. Okay, so now we're going to build our formula over here in ROS. So we start with equal sign and then the first um, header here. And we, and we always have to press F4 with anything pertaining to, to column A because we don't want Excel to assume that we're always jumping to the next column when we create a new node. So dollar sign A, dollar sign 6, ampersand colon space amper, uh, close quote uh, ampersand this cell over here and I like to put a period uh, in the formula so I don't have to remember to put it in each cell so I, I'm gonna type ampersand quote period space quote and ampersand for the next one so now I'm gonna copy this and paste it here 13 more times. And now all we need to do is to click here twice, click on the next one over, press F4, click here twice, and then B7, click here twice, click here, and click here twice, click here. And keep doing that until the end. Finally, eliminate the last ampersand. All right, so we have our review of systems here. And now we just need to make a reference to it to cell B5 up here. So uh, we want it before the objective, so before the reference to cell 20. So we want it right here.
All right, so now test it out. All right, so here's a um, sample note. Uh, I would normally write a lot more over here in subjective, but this is just for us to test it out. Let's try copying and pasting cell B1 into our EHR. Okay, so here we are. We have now our progress note, all the headers there, and now we have a complete review of systems over here. I'll teach you in a, a separate video how to get rid of these quotes over here. But um, for now, yeah, everything seems to be working great. Now here's an issue here. Let's suppose if we didn't have some of these, here's what our note would look like if I pasted it into the EMR. You'll notice that uh, all of the cells that I left empty will still show the header, and that doesn't look good in the note. So in our next video, I'm gonna show you how to not show any of these headers if you didn't fill something out. That's gonna be pretty exciting. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and don't miss the next video.